Hi. Hi. Uh, please introduce yourself. My name is Shoeb. I'm the founder of Mega Systems. And uh, right here you have a modular device right here. Yeah, it's a Linux computer. How does it work? So this is an open source Linux computer. It's a general computer, right? The idea is it runs on open source software. It has a modular interface. You can use this interface to add extensions. This could be a keyboard. It could be a gamepad. You could use this to run emulation games, right? You could swap this with a breakout board. This could be used for tinkering, something like that. Full, full Chrome? Yeah, this is a full Chrome, the one that comes with Debian. Not a little mobile Chrome. Yeah, it's a mobile Chrome. Uh, it's just a keyboard. Yeah. Yeah. And then you have all the extensions. Yeah. So it's Linux? It's Linux. So it is Debian. Debian. Uh, what's the CPU you're using? This is an ARM, for, ARM 64 quad core, 1.8 gigahertz. Did you say which one? ARM 64. Is it a rock chip? No, it's an NXP. NXP. NXP, yeah. Uh, IMX95, uh, eight. which one? Eight. IMX8. IMX eight. Eight. Yeah. Nice. And you're right here in Kickstarter? Yeah, we just announced our Kickstarter. Uh, the campaign would start from March. And we just put our pre-launch page up. So what happened here? I click? Yeah, I think the battery just died. You could take this one. Yeah. So how? So on the side, What's the idea here. Yeah. What's so the... These are power buttons. This is a home button. You actually got the lock screen up. Uh, on the sides, you have two USBs, a full-size gigabit Ethernet, and on the back, we actually have an NVMe slot. You could use the NVMe for expanding the storage. This could be like a two terabyte SSD. There's a battery system. There's a camera and a fast charging over Type C. The battery is 3000 mAh. This can run on. Uh, full power, full brightness for up to four hours. Wow. Uh, is that a gigabit LAN? Yeah, this is actually a gigabit LAN. USB 3? No, these two are USB 2.0. USB yeah. 2? 2. So yeah. keyboard and mouse or something like that? Yeah, yeah. And then uh, you could press this and it goes back to the home screen. Yeah. And you, so you can expand the storage? Yes, and using a NVMe SSD. And uh, is there any way to have a faster USB? Uh, we'll do a pro version later. Right, this is our mid-level version. It's an entry-level version. Uh, maybe sometime next year, we'll come up with a pro version of this. Yeah. Nice. Can you hold it a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. Is it connected to this thing? Yeah, yeah. It won't come out. Uh, can you can yeah. You yeah. carry it up? Like right here. Uh, so what's the price on the Kickstarter? So on launch day, this would start at 159 the base model. And the extensions would cost like between 10 to 15 dollars. Nice. And if we go for the bundle, which has all the extensions, it would be additional 30 dollars. And can you do some hacking with it? Yeah, actually security testing, I won't say hacking, white hat testing would be a primary use case. We are actually porting Kali Linux for this. Nice. So, so I can check what's on your root directory? I'm yeah, joking. you can. Uh, so, so what? How do you say the version of Debian, or what's the future potential updates? Because the NXP has very good upstream. Exactly, that is why we are on NXP. We already are at 6.6 .6 kernel, right? And we will keep maintaining with the SOC. Right now, we are on Debian 12. We support the both stable and unstable, right? But we are happy to port other operating systems as well, like NixOS. We are actually working with the contributor team. And uh, yeah, Kali Linux, NixOS, Mobian, they are on our roadmap. How do you exit? The home button. The home is there. On the side, yeah. So when you're holding like this, you just press it. This is actually our cloud connectivity app. So we have cloud services that virtualize networking so you can access the Comet remotely. It's actually not on internet, so yeah. Uh, yeah, you have a Chromium, you have a terminal, and we're actually building a camera app also for this. There's a file manager. These are all open source. We have built them and we have open sourced them. They are built in Rust. Even the framework is something that we have open sourced. Is it graphics acceleration? Yes, it is GPU accelerated. This is running on OpenGL. Can it run Doom? Yeah, of course. Crisis? <laughs> Crisis would fry it though. <laughs> You're trying? But no, you can do a uh, Nintendo 64 emulator. Yeah, you can uh, you can run uh, uh, Super Mario 64, uh, yeah. Wave Racer, <coughs> and stuff. 
Yeah, this is actually a model right now. We are still building the extensions. So once the extensions are ready, we would just map the controls. Does the keyboard work? Uh, no, the extensions are still models. The idea is they are USB devices. Sorry, you just have to place it like this. And so it's the uh, pogo pins? Yeah, the pogo pins are actually the, the first four of them corresponds to USB. So when you plug it in, the software, the kernel detects it as a USB device. Cool. So it is plug and play. It's, do you like, want to make it like an open platform? Yeah, the extensions, the extensions that we built are going to be completely open source. You could 3D print them, you could make the PCB on your own, you could hand solder them, and you could use these as base to build more extensions. We are looking for community building it, built extensions and we'll even launch a marketplace. So do you have a keyboard we can press start? Uh, no, I don't have a keyboard right now. So how soon is mass production? Uh, we are already in certification stage right now. Mass production would start sometime next month. We are not really waiting for Kickstarter. It's actually the camera app. Where's the camera? Yeah, the camera is right here. It's a 5 megapixel camera. Nice. Can I add a modem? You can. Actually, we are working on a 4G extension. So if you add a 4G modem, this can become like a 4G device. In fact, uh, in the future, a USB modem. Yeah, uh, 4G to USB. Right. And in future, we may do a 4G variant of it. 5G? 5G, not on the roadmap. When we do the pro version, we will look at 5G. And 4G would be great because there's so many cheap modem. Yeah, yeah. The, the challenge with 5G would be the certification would be really complicated. And uh, what is going to be the retail price? Retail price would be somewhere around two hundred dollars. How much? Two hundred. Two hundred. Yeah. And Kickstarter is one fifty nine on day one, which will go up till one eighty roughly, based on the launch? quantities. Uh, when did it launch? Our Kickstarter will launch sometime in March. We have just put Next our pre-launch page. Not yet. Yeah, yeah. In two months. And then people can start funding. Not yet. Yes, they cannot not start yet. today. No, they can. They, we already put our pre-launch page up. They can just notify and subscribe to our updates. <laughs> Why don't you let people start funding now? Uh, reason is we are still improving the software. We still want to get certification completed so that we can ship early to the backers. So you want the backers to get it quickly. Exactly. That's kind of special. Yeah. Sometimes people back and three years later to get something. See, one maybe. Of the, the reason is that we are not dependent on Kickstarter for the financing of the project. It is already financed. Kickstarter is basically our first production order. Nice. And what are these cool stickers? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Uh, what is this one? It's a mecha, a robot. Yeah. It's got some arms. Uh, I want to get one with arms. Can you <laughs> add the arms? We can. We can. <laughs> there will be. Uh, because if it's an open platform, maybe somebody will do. What does it say here? That's the accessories. Yeah, this is actually the media kit. Yeah. Nice. And uh, what is this one? What does this say? These are lives. It's Poland. Lives. Ah, lives like yeah, uh, like, uh, like Mario. Super Mario. Yeah. <laughs> bullet, bullet. Okay. <laughs> do you have the mushrooms? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> And then you can go to space uh, with a comet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is the plan. That's Hopefully, your, somebody that's launches your, it that's in your the company. Space. Yeah. Are you the founder? I'm the founder. Yeah. And uh, how many people do you want in your team? We are ten to twelve people. How many? Ten to twelve people. Already? That's it. Yeah. Where are you based? We are based in India. In Bangalore? No. No, we are towards Mumbai. Which one? Mumbai, Mumbai. Mumbai? Yeah, Bombay. And what's your background? What do you do before? So I'm a computer science engineer. I run a tech consulting company for 10 years. Uh, one of our customers was Siemens, and we used to deploy a lot of systems to them on their factory floor. And we used to always wonder why is computing on the physical world so difficult. So we decided to build a computer. It's so cool. Uh, is it possible that this platform could have different screen sizes in the future? Yeah, yeah. different ports, different NXPs. Yeah, maybe yeah. there's a higher speed NXP. Yeah, like yeah. the IMX 90. What is it called? The fastest 95? one. 95. Is that 95. Is that the fastest one? I think 95 is the fastest one right now. I'm not entirely sure, but this is too early for 95, so we are kind of holding on to it. Yeah. Make this a huge success and then NXP is going to call you and say, hey, can you make more projects? Yeah, that is the hope. <laughs> nice. How good is the ecosystem around the NXP? NXP is awesome, right? Like for embedded, NXP has the uh, best support, right? There's no NDA requirement. You don't have to go through any channel partner. You just go to their GitHub. 
the amazing part is they open source the entire kernel, all the patches, right? And they have an amazing upstreaming team. In fact, the entire SOC manual is also available without any restrictions. What's this red one? Is it a speaker? This is a breakout board. What do you say? A breakout board, like a breadboard. It gives oh. you access to these IOs. So you can build custom electronics, right? Wow. Like a custom PCB. Cool. All right, so this is only a question of uh, time. Time. And then you'll yeah. have a 5G modems, uh, like yeah. modules or whatever. Yeah. Over the Poco pins or no? No, uh, what's, the, the, what's the bandwidth on the Poco pins? Uh, right now, the Poco pins, the comet is USB 2.0, but when we do the Pro version, it would be 3.0. And once we see the demand for it, we may even do a 4G variant or a 5G variant with onboard 4G and not really on the extensions. Nice, but uh, you need to make sure it's compatible with all the NXP stuff because yeah. NXP don't make the modem themselves, right? Yeah. But yeah. you can connect the U blocks or what it's yeah. called. The Azure other Wave or something like that. Yeah. Which one? Azure Wave. I'm, I'm not sure Azure Wave makes it. Azure Wave is a Bluetooth Wi Fi chip. Nice. Yeah. And you, you were showing me inside stuff. Yeah. Uh, uh, this one. Yeah. Yeah. So the yeah. NXP processor is right underneath this. There's an NVMe slot, M.2. Is that a cooler? Yeah, oh, this is the nice. heat sink. This doesn't get hot. It gets hot, but there's a back cover. So on the back cover, we have graphite sheet, which will draw the heat out. Is there any chance there could be other connectors somehow? You want to do everything on the Pogo pins in the front? Uh, other you connectors, add other such as? accessories somehow inside? See, these are all open source CAD files. So you can actually replace any of the parts and modify them. Nice. Uh, how much interest do you have so far? Are you a famous, famous project? We are actually getting a lot of attention now since the last couple of days. We have been featured on Tom's Hardware, we have been featured on Engadget, and we have a community strongly building up now. Yeah.